Dear friends, we all are gathered here to study the first lesson of algebra and the name of the lesson is Linear Equations in Two Variables. In this lesson, we are going to solve the given linear equations by three methods. First of all, the first method that we are going to study today is elimination method. And in elimination method, we can solve the linear equations and we can find out the values of the variables which are in the given linear equations. For example, look at here, the equation, two linear equations are given and that two linear equations are 2x minus 3y equal to 9 and second linear equation is 2x plus y is equal to 13. In these two equations, we can write this equation as equation number 1, like this. This is equation number 1. And this equation as a second equation, that is 2x plus y is equal to 13. Dear students, observe these two equations. You will find that these two and these two are the coefficients of the variable x and here minus 3 and here plus 1 are the coefficients of the variable y and to solve these two equations by method of elimination we first we have to observe whether the coefficients of y or coefficient of x are same or not if they are same with the same sign then we have to subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So I am writing in the form of subtraction that is 2x minus 3y is equal to 9 and second equation 2x plus y is equal to 13. After subtraction you will get 2x minus 2x is equal to 0. This minus 3y and minus y minus 3y and minus y is minus 4y is equal to 9 minus 13 9 minus 13 is minus 4 after simplification you will get this 4y is equal to 4 and so y is equal to this 4 divided by this 4 so you will get the value of y is equal to 1 and we can see that this is the value of variable y in the given two linear equations. By using this value of y, we can calculate the value of x. We can use this value of y in any one equation, whether it is equation number 1 or whether it is equation number 2. So I am going to use the value of y as 1 in equation number 1. So again write down the equation number 1 as 2x minus 3y is equal to 9. Students, put this value of y equal to 1 in this given equation. So we can write like this, put y is equal to 1 in above equation. In the next step of simplification, we can use the value of y as a 1. So 2x minus 3 and the value of y is a 1 is equal to 9. 2x minus 3 1 3 is equal to 9. So 2x is equal to this 9 plus 3. 2x is equal to 9 plus 3 is 12. And so we can write x is equal to 12 divided by this 2 and so x is equal to 6. Dear friends, what is this value? This is x equal to 6 is the value of first variable of the given two linear equations. This is called as a method of elimination because we are eliminating one variable and finding the value of second variable by this method and the similar equations, similar given equations we can solve by the method of Cramer's rule. 
it is also called as a grammar school method and thank you friend for seeing this this is the first method that is method of elimination students the second method of solving the given linear equations is a grammar school method in this method we are using these two linear equation and finding the value of x and y by grammar rule for this we have to give the numbers for both the equations this is 2x minus 3y is equal to 9 equation number 1 and second 2x plus y is equal to 13 equation number 2 and in this method we have to form three determinants by using the coefficients of x and y for for solving the first determinant that is b we have to find the coefficient of x and coefficient of y in the column form like this 2 2 and here the coefficient minus 3 1 minus 3 1 like this after forming this determinant find out the value of the determinant by cross multiplication like this this 3 into 1 So two into one minus two into minus three. So two one ya two minus minus will become plus two three ya six. And so the value of this determinant B is A. This is the value of determinant B. Students, now we have to form another determinant. That determinant is called as a dx determinant. And for forming the determinant dx, remove first column and instead of the first column two two, insert the column nine and thirteen like this. First column nine thirteen, second column as it is, second column as it is like minus three one. Find out the value of this determinant that is dx. Then you will get nine into one minus. 13 into minus 3. So you will get 9 when you are 9 minus minus will become plus 13 threes are 39. So after addition you will get this addition as a 48. This is the value of second determinant that is dx. By using the same method, similar method, similar step, we have to find out the value of the another determinant that is dy. And to form the determinant dy, we have to remove the second column of determinant d and insert the values of this column that is nine and thirteen. So we can write first column as it is and second column as a nine and thirteen. Find out the value of the determinant that is dy. So you will get. After cross multiplication, 2 into 13 minus 9 into 2, 13 into 2, 26 minus 9 into 2, 18. After subtraction, you will get a. This is the value of determinant d1. After finding the value of d, dx, and dy, then use the Cramer's formula to calculate. The value of x and y. For the formula of x, by Cramer's rule, x is equal to dx upon d. Students, we are now having all the values of dx and d also. What the value of dx? Here the value of dx is given. That is 48. Upon value of d, value of d is a. And so you will get the value of x as a six. By using the second formula for variable y by Cramer's rule, that is dy upon d. The value of dy is here. It is a. Value of d is a. So a upon a that is one. So students, this is a Cramer's rule method, and by this Cramer's rule method, by forming the D, dx, and dy, and by using these two formulae of Cramer's rule, 
we can find out the values of the variable x as a 6 and variable y as a 1. Now, this is the method that is called as a Kramer's rule method. Thank you.